Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional out of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. The good news, the gospel of Jesus, it's good because God is doing something that we could not do. Just save us from our own sin, from the treachery of turning away from God and looking to ourselves for the things of the world rather than the things of God, for uh, that which is unrighteous rather than looking unto God and seeing that which is righteous. And as we look here in, in a in a book of the Bible that's described as wisdom literature, as a book of the Bible that's meant to help us live our lives rightly in light of what God is doing, we see a beautiful moment in Proverbs chapter 3 where it is explicitly stated, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And then we see the opposite. Do not lean on your own understanding. We can trust in the Lord with all our heart because we know that God is wholly good. God is fully on our side as he sends his son Jesus, as we cast our eyes upon the Lord who has been raised up on the cross for our sakes. That's the good news that Jesus would take away the sins of the world if we just look upon him and we those who believe in him look and see that God is good and that God is doing that. And yet, I'm sure, dear Christian, that like me, maybe you look in the mirror and you see that you are not to be trusted. As I look in the mirror, I know I should not trust my own judgment at all times, that I must look elsewhere for a true and right compass to guide me in life. And we have it here. We see it here that we can trust in the Lord with all our heart, that we should not lean on our own understanding because our own understanding is faulty and yet God is not faulty in any of his ways. And then it, we, we get uh, uh, even more, a multiplication in verse 6, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Uh, it's not fun to be on a crooked path, and I'm sure you resonate, dear Christian. Sometimes we find ourselves taking that turn because we think we know best, and we get bumps and bruises at the least, or we have devastating consequences at the most, some that we cannot change even though we wish a hundred times a day we could. And yet, God is good enough to reveal that if we acknowledge him in all our ways, there is a straight path to be seen. It's directly through and because of the Lord Jesus. Yes, but it's not just that where we in stasis go dormant until we die and go to heaven. <laughs> That's ludicrous. That's not right. And, and we know that because we're living life right now. Dear Christians, see these verses and know that the gospel is now and that it changes us and shows us who we can be, that we have a God that we can put all our trust and hope in and that he is fully, wholly, absolutely reliable. Isn't that a great moment of realization? Are you reliable? I wish that you could say yes. Am I reliable? I wish that I could say yes. But we're not, are we, all the time? We have shortcomings and failings. We're sinners and we are in need. But God, he has no need. He is the need supplier. And as we trust in him with all our heart, as we look away from our own understanding and look to his understanding, his character, his righteousness, as we look to him who sends his own son for us, as we look to the Lord and we acknowledge him in all our ways, our paths are all of a sudden made straight. Our lives are made complete. Our peace and our joy and contentment is multiplied a hundredfold. And when we see that, and when we know that, and when we realize that, our assurance abounds. And we praise and worship God as all of this, uh, these pieces of life click in. No matter the suffering, no matter the pain, no matter the sin, no matter the circumstances, we can see the picture, the cosmic reality that trusting in the Lord is the right way, is the straight path way, is the good way. May you do so today as you ponder upon Proverbs 3, verses 5 
and six.